What's up guys? Welcome back to another freaking YouTube video. As you can tell, oh yeah, we're cooking with Taylor, motherfucker. For today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to cook steak. Or how I cook my steaks. And this this is very this is a good recipe. It's a good to make steaks, alright? So we're gonna cook some other things as well, alright? We're also gonna be eating corn and some uh, smashed potatoes, alright? Guys, and I wanna know, alright, how do you cook your steaks? Let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like on this video. So yeah, let's get to uh let's get to cooking mate up in the kitchen so what we got is we got our i don't know if y'all can see that right there mr dale's oh yeah do not get the low sodium a lot of people do get the low sodium but we do not do that around here all right so what you're gonna do is pour a little good bit up in there all right we gonna open up our steaks we're gonna dice up the uh onion right here oops we're gonna dice that up real quick Put a little. All right, once that is first, you're gonna get your juicy, juicy steak. Just like that, baby. And we are gonna get a little plate and put our little dry seasoning on there. All right, guys, we love that minced garlic. We love that mixed garlic, so. We gonna put some minced garlic, a little bit all over these steaks right here, man. Give them a good pat down, give them a good scrape. Make sure we push all those little garlic pieces into the steak, just like so, man. Let's set our dills and onions to the side. Now we are gonna get that uh, good black pepper that good black pepper. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna pat it down just like that. All right, we're gonna pat it down. Flip it over. Get some black pepper on the good side, man. All right, that is freaking looking good already, man. Looking good already. All right, let's get the other one. All right, and then we gonna get our salt. Make sure we salt just a little bit because that Dale's is nothing but sodium. So we just don't only need a little bit. And now we gonna put the steaks up in the good stuff, all right, up in here. We gonna swish it around. Now we gonna drop more of these onions up in here, my, oh yeah. Let it marinate for at least about an hour and a half and we'll be ready to freaking cook them, mate. Guys, so once you do have your steaks all up in the good stuff right here, all marinating and stuff, you know, just put a little wet paper towel over it or something. And we're gonna stick it back up in the refrigerator, let it chill, okay? Such you right there, baby. Oh, yeah. Guys, while the steaks are marinating, we're gonna go ahead and cook us up the uh, the potatoes in the corn, okay? So what we're gonna do is plop some of our potatoes in there. We're gonna do the whole bag right here because they will fit. All right, potatoes in there, we're gonna boil them up. We should have, you know, cleaned them first, but it'll be all right. I wasn't thinking about all that, so we so we gonna we gonna clean them just like this, you know. Why not? All right, guys. So we're gonna let these uh, potatoes start. And, uh, we're gonna let them boil and stuff. We already got them cleaned up, so they're looking all pretty and stuff. All right, if you're using the burner, turn it up to about seven, eight-ish, whatever. Whatever meets your desires, all right? We're just gonna stick it on just like that. We gonna, we gonna bowl up those good, sweet, baby little 
red potatoes. All right, guys, we got my ear of corn. <laughs> all right, corn of the cob, dude. All right, so we just gonna chuck it. All right, and then we gonna uh, we gonna rinse her off. We gonna put it up in the uh, up in the little pot right here, man. Yep. Let's get all the good little corn veins on out of here. And then we gonna break it off just like that. We're gonna run some water underneath them, clean them off a good bit. Now, these are ready to be put in the pot. Uh, the little burner, we're going to just take our time. We're going to put it on five. How about that? We're going to take our time with the corn right up in here. Five and a half, all right? Well, sorry, guys. I was just uh, peeping the new YouTube video coming out to y'all, mate. Oh, yeah. This shit's badass, dude. I can't wait. All right, y'all. So, the potatoes, they are... They're done, so we're gonna just let them sit over here, let them cool off. The corn is just about done right here. Uh, the potatoes are tender, so we will put them up in the oven and uh, we're gonna smash them up, make them look all pretty, and we're gonna make them all taste good, so I can't wait. All right. Why are you video recording me? Get your camera out of my fucking face. Get the camera out of my face. Thank you. the butter fish sticks. So we ain't gonna put in the, uh, we ain't gonna put a lot of butter in the corn. But we got the butter up in the up in there, oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's uh, stir them up a little bit. Let's uh add a little bit of salt right here. Just like that. Alright, alright, alright. Guys, so we gonna lay the potatoes down just like that. All right, y'all, so you're gonna get a clean, clean cup, just like so. And you're just gonna smash these taters up, dude. This is stupid. This is so fucking stupid. Who the fuck does this? Like, they're gonna, they're smashed anyway. Like, look at this. Look, look, look. We got our little smashed potatoes right here. <laughs> All right, so what we gonna do next is we gonna uh, grab the sautés, we gonna grab the butter eh? Damn, we ain't got no butter for a steak. Yeah, we do, come on. All right. All right, guys, so we just melted up some butter. Now, what we're gonna use for the potatoes, a little seasoning, the butter seasoning we got, we're gonna use a little black pepper. We're gonna use this little onion powder. All right, put a little onion in there. We got a little bit of garlic, just a little bit. You don't need a whole lot, all right? Uh, we got a, oh, all right, there we go. Yeah, all right. Now we got the all Greek seasoning, all right? Put a little, good, a little bit of up in there, all right? Now we got some salt, all right? Put the little salt up in there. And now, this is my favorite one. I can't wait to try this, dude. The Cajun Two Step. <laughs> oh yeah, from freaking Stale Cracker, dude. I actually did try it once before. That's why I went. That's why I really wanted to buy it. All right, I'll show it to y'all one more time. I actually have tried this before. The Cajun Two Step, Stale Cracker. So, oh yeah, most most of y'all, most of y'all probably know him. All right, so we're gonna pop the tap on that thing, man. And uh, we're gonna leave that to the side because we gotta pour all this butter on the on the potatoes, just like so, dude. We're gonna get that Cajun two-step, baby, and we gonna we gonna top it off. All right, guys. So you're gonna preheat your oven. You're gonna bake it for at uh, 350 for about you know let's say 20 minutes. All right, about give it about 20 minutes. So we gonna plop them in there. 
just like that. All right, so we pulled the corn off. The corn is looking fantastic right there. The corn is looking great. Oh yeah, so we put that to a side. We're gonna add a little dabs of salt up in there. But yeah, man, the corn is just about done. Now, so let's go ahead and uh, start on the steaks while we wait on these potatoes. All right, guys, so we sadly do not have our grill working right now. So we just gonna skillet these uh, nice, nice New York strips, dude. Let's take a look at them. It's been a minute since. Oh, you can already hear that. Uh, oh, them sizzling already. Let's turn that down so we won't be uh, getting hit by these sons of bitches. Cause they hurt. All right, y'all take a look at that steak. We about to throw it up on there, baby. Oh yeah, just like that. All right, the steak is ready to get thrown up on there. Let's throw it up on there, baby. Oh yeah, just like that. Got some onions right there on the top. Oh yeah, we're gonna pour some of this good old stuff up on here, dude. Leave some uh, onions right here. Let's throw some onions up on the pan. We need some onions cooking. We need some onions cooking. All right, let's throw some onions and good juice, juice on there. All right, y'all. We're gonna be doing our little magic tool. All right, well, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna cook this. Oh, you hear that? Look at him, look at him. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and throw a throw us a little slab of butter up on here, right between the middle, get it cooking, get cooking, let's throw some on this side, how about that? Oh yeah, let's throw some over here. Let's get some butter on the steaks. Let's get some butter on the steaks. Who don't love butter on their steaks, dude? All that butter soaking in. Who don't love butter, dude? Hell, I put butter on freaking everything. All right, guys, look at all that goodness, dude. Oh, my goodness. Let's get a spoon. Look at all that good stuff right there, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's put that out of the way. Throw some up on the top. Let's cook that bottom side. Hey, and if y'all didn't know it, if you got a good, good size New York strip like I did, uh, you're going to have to cook it for about, you know, four to four and a half minutes to five, which either, if you like yours medium rare like I do, about four, four minutes, just about. And then if you want it, uh, about a good medium, you know, done, well done area, you're gonna go five minutes or past, okay? Just a little tip for y'all, and that goes for anything, for real. We're gonna pull out the potatoes just halfway. Oh, them looking good already, dude. All that butter soaked up in the potatoes. Oh yeah, we're gonna add some freaking cheese to it, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is looking good, dude. All right, we gonna, we love some cheese over here, so we're gonna add a good bit of cheese to them. Guys, let's push it back up in there. And then we're gonna wait 10 more minutes. And then hopefully those, uh, the cheese will be baked and be all good on the potatoes because the potatoes are kind of already ready. All right, and then we're just going to wait on them good old steaks. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, they slow rolling right now, dude. we letting it slow roll right now, and then we're going to be freaking eating good. All right, y'all, plate steaks at the moment. Look at that juicy thing right there, boy. Woo! All right, we're putting in we putting some plates over here. Just like so. Oh, yeah, baby. 
Oh yeah, she's looking good. I kind of want some onions with that, so we're gonna put some onions on here. Like, oh yeah, baby, just like that. All right, guys, we're. Oh my goodness, look at them, baby. Shoo-wee. All right, y'all, let's get some of them potatoes up on the plate, just like that, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. We got our freaking food. We got the corn. We got the potatoes. We got the... Oh, yeah. We got the good steak, baby. Oh, yeah. We're going to cut into that right now, actually, as we speak. Oh, baby. Look at... Oh, yeah. That's some good steak, boy. Mmm. Really tender. Melts in your mouth. Really good. Get some, get some good onions in there. Our neighbor's dog is a bitch. Shut up. Sorry about that. We got some very good homemade tea. Let's <laughs> wash it down, baby. All right, so let's get into these potatoes now. What I really wanted to do with these potatoes, well, I wanted to put some ranch on there, so. Let's uh, let's dab some ranch on there, just like that, baby. Oh yeah. So that ranch, that cheese, even that Cajun two-step, mm, it's all gonna be good. Guarantee it, guarantee it. Let's try it. Mm. Freshly made, very hot. Oh my goodness, bro. But overall, perfect potatoes. Now, y'all know about the corn, do it. Mm. Juicy, buttery corn. We added some salt, and it's also soaking in all this steak juice. It's real good, dude. Oh. All right, guys, so. This food is freaking delicious. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed cooking with Taylor. On this episode, we cooked some good southern steak food. I don't even, did we have a mixture of good amount of stuff on here, I think. Weirdly put together, I believe, but it's all good, dude. It's freaking delicious. So y'all, I hope y'all did enjoy this video. Please smash this like button. And y'all, what recipes do y'all use for any of this stuff? The corn, the potatoes, the the uh, steak what what, what do y'all use man y'all make sure you please subscribe we have fun over here dude well i'll see y'all on the next video